Um, most of you know that uh, I'm with Eleanor Warden. We co-coordinate the food bank here. And one of the pantries that we deliver to is the Bronx Jewish Coordinating uh, Council. And one of our congregants, Roy Fenichel, is on their board. So I'd like him to tell us a bit about what BJCC does and why you're involved. Yeah, sure thing. Um, yeah, the Bronx Jewish Community Council um, basically serves the Bronx community. Um, mostly, um, most of his constituents are Jewish, but obviously everyone in need in um, the Bronx, the services are available. Um, Many services, anything from social services to medical to um, you know nursing care. Um, the, the, the food aspect of it is to me, you know, you think of basic necessities for like food. You have no food. I mean, that's like the number one thing. Um, so I think it's up to 3,700 daycare constituents, not clients, um, are served on a regular basis. The food pantry is open not every day, but most days of the week, um, anywhere from three to four, um, depending on the need. Never closes. Um, you know, the, the really big thanks goes to the Larrys and Ellie's of the world. I mean, long, long years and years and years before my involvement, it's the constant food drives of places like this, <laughs> or the temples, or the churches, um, you know, to be a really big feeder source because as many, you know, dedicated, you know, volunteers and staff as BDCC has, if there's no food to give out, then, you know, it's a big problem. Um, so, so the really big thing that I think is very important, I mean, there's lots of great organizations, but, I mean, 15 minutes from here, you go from Westchester, whether you know you're living in an apartment, you know, on Central Avenue or a big mega mansion. I mean, you know, we, the resources we have here in Westchester are huge. But I think we take for granted that we have thousands of Jewish, um, you know, at this point, elderly, um, 15 minutes away. It's sort of like a separated from our rest of the world. And so one of the things BJCC does that you know I think is very important. I mean, I've taken my kids and to deliver food, and the food, of course, is the essential, right? You need food. To keep the Jewish traditions that we take for granted, we're hanging out with family and friends in Passover and Hanukkah, to bring it to an elderly who you know, doesn't have that family resource. And to me, when the eyes light up, it's such a huge thing, because, you know, like my kids, right, they're six and eight, I think they understand there's need in the world, but they don't understand, they don't get it. When they're hungry, I'm hungry, and mom and dad give them food. Um, so to me, it's a total cliche that by helping others that we get help. But when you show up, it's someone really appreciates, and they're telling us stories and these kind of things. And to me, it's that kind of benefit where I feel like my kids will be better because we're helping other people in a very tangible sort of way. Um, and sort of my involvement with BJCC is sort of by accident. Um, so I knew that we had a food bank here for years, and I really had no idea what the other side of that, like what is the connecting sort of resource. So a friend of mine from Cardoza reached out to me um, and said, hey, I'm on the board of this organization, and it could really use other sort of help, both institutionally and, of course, volunteers. And then I found out that this organization that I'm about to become a part of, just want to mention to you, oh, aren't you a member of the Spurs of Synagogue? Thank you so much, because they've been so helpful. So I felt like I had two worlds sort of combining that I didn't really know, you know, they were sort of combined, and then I started learning more about all well, that happened, so. Thank you, boy. It's my understanding that BJCC is one of the last remaining organizations in the Bronx that does have a large Jewish uh, clientele, but it's not exclusive. The city is changing, every neighborhood is changing, and they serve multiple populations uh, very well and very professionally. They're, they're a, um, an admirable group. Thank you for being part of that. Actually, Larry? Yes. Can I just say one thing? I mean, in addition to what Roy has said, I really wanted to encourage local involvement because when we deliver food you met seniors who really are on their last resort they don't have the family members they have cancer terminal cancer and they were just so um their faces light up to see somebody come to visit them even to bring food they can't eat because they, they you know they can't eat those food but they were so thankful and i really think that locally you know we, we could always use more of that because i think you know, Tikkun Olam and, and, and good good charity and good work really extends beyond, but locally we also have a need, and I think that's where yeah, I right. wanted to... And as Roy said, it's it literally 15, 20 minutes away yeah, is a different it world. Is. It truly is. 